was right. If anybody want to know how strong that jake brake is, that jake brake just brought me all the way down to zero. I didn't even touch the brake pedal. Brought me all the way down to zero. Simpsonville, South Carolina. Right off 385. First time coming here. gate when we get up here. Let's see, let's see. Oh, receiving. We're right here. Here we go. Arriving at 114 Pride Drive, Simpsonville, South Carolina. 29681 on the right. 
guess this is my sign to stop here. Check in. Hey, our protection required beyond this point. Think that counts? So I got an untarp right here where I'm at. Then pull around, pull around to the back. Hey, let me tell y'all a quick story before I pull inside the gate. Hey, when I used to work at Melton, the orientation instructor, he, he told us in orientation, when you first start flatbedding, you're not gonna have all the equipment that you need. And he told us as flatbedders, sometimes you learn, well, you don't learn, but sometimes you acquire equipment over the years. Y'all know what that is right there? That's a coil rack. So check this out. If you see up there on my headache rack, you see on my headache rack? I only had two coil racks. Right there, I only got two. Somebody acquired mine a while back. So we got one coil rack over there. Then we got two right here. I just found them sitting on the ground over there. Somebody tossed them in the woods. So what goes around comes around. So I got me two coil racks. So I, I ain't pulled coils in a while, but last time I had them, I had to use these uh these four by fours. But these are a lot more convenient right here. So about to add these up there to the collection.
porta. Get up out of here, gang. This is GP, Prosperity, South Carolina. They just put a new scale in back there in the loader area. They used to didn't have that scale. So the lumber trucks and the flatbeds had to use the same scale. Sometimes you come here, damn scale backed up from all these lumber trucks, well, log trucks. Well, they had this thing backed up. Look at this Tennessee steel hauler truck blocking the damn lane. He don't know you ain't supposed to park right there. You supposed to stop at the mailbox. I did the same thing first time I came here. I pulled up to the gate. I see the gate just opened, but I can't get out because there's trucks in the way. So I'm gonna just sit here until he comes out and moves his truck. Yeah, come on, TSH. Mr. Tennessee Steel Holler. Whew. See that guy outside with the mask on, checking out, checking them logs. Come on, buddy. Oh, no traffic. I guarantee that that guard said, next time you come, stop at the mailbox. I gotta tarp this load, but I ain't gonna tarp it here. But you gotta use the tarp station. So what I'm gonna do is, it's a pilot, it's a pilot like five miles down the road. Leave up out of here, make the right, then make a left at the light. It's a pilot. I can get it done a lot quicker. There's two trucks right now waiting in line to use that tarp, that tarp machine. Yeah, I ain't got time to sit behind them. Let that guy right there, he ain't even tarped yet. He backing out. There's two more behind him. And they only got one machine. Yeah, we ain't got time to tarp for him, buddy. About to go down to the pilot back into a spot, climb on top, we'll be done in no time. You see this little side, this little pull off right here on the side? You can't even, you can't even, uh, you can't even tarp it up here. You see all those yellow signs, they say no climbing on loads. Turn right on US 76. Man, they don't want nobody falling on their property. It's all good, baby. It's all good. This ain't my first rodeo game. Bust this right, get to the light, bust it left. Then the pilot's gonna be about, about five miles on the left. 
Hey, for all y'all guys saying, you ain't gonna talk that low. I guarantee you I will. Hey, there will be video evidence. Woo! Let's ride, gang. Good thing I talked to Lowe yesterday. Look at that. Coming down hard. Good call, D. Talk about the truck stop. 